How cool is this? This is the inside of a private jet inside the house. We're gonna make the coolest office ever. Let's do this. That's easy. This is gonna be the coolest office ever. It's the inside of a private jet. Many of you will remember when I bought this thing for a dollar. Look, it even has the little armresty foldy things that go up and down. We're gonna hang this on the wall here. We're gonna put that up here above our heads. Look, it's got lights on it. It even has the, that's heavy. It even has the oxygen mask. How cool is that? The bag may not look inflated, but oxygen is flowing. And remember to put your mask on first before you help your favorite child. Yeah, this was the worst impulse decision ever. But maybe, just maybe, we'll go on this ride together and turn this into the coolest little office man corner thing ever. Bonus, got a little foldy table. How cool is this? Yes. Uh, yeah, and we're against the clock as well, because the old wifey, she left for a few hours, so we gotta kinda get this done before she knows about it. Because once it's done, then we can just ask for forgiveness rather than permission. That's the premise I like to off operate off of, so. Well, let's quit yakking around. Silas, we gotta go to the store, because we gotta get some hardware that we're gonna hang stuff with, and screws to screw it to the wall. And then we still gotta make the chairs into actual chairs that'll sit kind of level on the floor without falling over. This is gonna be awesome. Let's go to the store. Power tools, love them. You can't work on an empty stomach. And I've had nothing but caffeinated coffee this morning, so it's time to get some nutrition. Good morning, thank you for running on Duncan. How can I help you? Hello, can I get a 25 count of munchkins, blueberry chocolate, and the uh, raised glaze? Like an elite Olympic athlete ready for a marathon, we have to carb up. Also vitamin D for do. Whenever you work on something, you gotta have something to drink. So list what you like to drink down in the comments below, your favorite beverage of choice. And what flavor munchkin do you like? Mine is chocolate and blueberry. Blueberry is probably my favorite. Let me know in the comments, which one do you guys like? And like Skittles, whenever you double them up like this, that's super yummy. Oh. Uh -oh. Time for a quick break. We got our anchors in there. Now we're gonna hang this thing. We still gotta figure out the anchor that's gonna hold this up. Don't know what that looks like yet. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, oh no! Save the donut! Try that again. Here's what we're thinking on how to get the wall section connected to the top, the, the center section of the airplane. There's a gap right here that this edge tucks up behind. If we drill holes pretty close to the edge here, you know, every so often we can just sew it together and that will keep this seam and that overlapped and nice and tight it will also, we'll hold this up on our anchors up there that'll hold all that together nice and neat. That's the idea. Temporarily, we're gonna need to suspend that in the air so we know the height that this needs to be. Which I guess we can go ahead and do that right now. I think that's what I might do. 
is make it tall enough so that when I come into the office, I don't whack my head on it every single time I come in here. And I am six foot tall, so 72 inches here. We're gonna go with that ceiling at 73. That does mean we'll have to boost the chairs up quite a bit to make everything look normal here, but at least I'm not gonna whack my head on it every time I get in here. So let's go ahead and get our wires. We'll drape them down and then we can hang it up. Oh yeah, that is in there. Sweet, that's not going anywhere. Hey, all right. That doesn't whack me in the head whenever I walk through here. <gasps> I'm afraid. I bet it would. Here, you hang off of it. Is it holding you? Holy cow, that's awesome. All right, okay. Don't ever do that again. Now, let's take that, connect it to there, and then We'll connect it to the wall. Get this side. So in theory, this should connect to here. So let's go that way. Yeah, we'll connect it right there like that in theory. Sweet. Okay. So let's get this level and locked in, and then we need to drill a bunch of small holes in this to tie that together. There you go. We are three quarters of the way done. Cable holds things a little on the springy side, but uh, you know, details. Bam! Bam! We got this going here. These are on. We need to tighten these up here. Get our oxygen mask hooked up. We're going to even try to uh, get the lights hooked up. Next, we anchor it down here. Build our chairs. We'll finish this up here. Let's go. Hey, Silas. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Ish. We are halfway done with this project. Now it's time to do some of the fun bits up here. Taking off the old connectors for the oxygen masks, putting on the new ones, and then we need to put our window shades over there. You think my kid will notice if I steal his batteries out of his power wheel? Should be fine. What do you think, Silas? Do you think this is a 12 volt? 24 volt or something. Here's the test. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> that table holds up pretty good. We've got our connection right here. It's the red and the black. I honestly have no idea what that blue one goes to because it goes here all the way down that way and that's it. So we need to get rid of that. The moment of truth, plugging the batteries in. If all this works and these light bulbs are not blown out, you should be able to get some, get some lights showing up. You're gonna have to tell me. We're gonna start with 12 volts. Anything coming up, turn on? Yeah, just these two. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are they bright or dim? Yeah. Dim? Oh, I can see them. Oh, hey. Hey! All right, hold on, hold on. 
We're gonna go 24 volts because I think these are 28 volt systems. Ooh. Could it work? Hey! And then, oh yeah, they move. If I push it up, fired. Fired. Yes. 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 Hello. What is your malfunction? That's fantastic. Yes. This is awesome. Hey, if you want to see more crazy adventures and we finally finished some projects, hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. You know what to do. We're also on Facebook and Instagram now. We're going to be doing giveaways to random people who are on all the different platforms because yes, we put out different content on the different channels, the different platforms. Don't forget, go subscribe, like, follow, all that stuff, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. We're almost done. Let's finish this thing up, baby. doing I definitely was not planning on using your stools to mount to the bottom of those chairs what <laughs> I love you you're gonna use my stools no to mount to the bottom of the chairs no <laughs> your hair looks nice today <laughs> good answer what do you think <laughs> this is awesome wow it gets better look <laughs> that is so cool. You guys did awesome. Just in case. Well, yeah. Look. <laughs> do you have a uh, <laughs> uh, a call button too? I do. <laughs> For the stewardess. Yeah. Hey, wife. <laughs> Make me a sandwich. She's not here. <laughs> That's fair. Wow. Well, look, windows. Oh my goodness, look at that. We need to put a picture of the sky behind it. Yeah, Print. like Jimmy's world. Print, yes. Clear prop. That's, yes. Just trying to figure out, oh, we got a small, small elevation from what is happening. This could work. This, I think this might be a problem too, though. <laughs> This is nice. Welcome to my private jet, babe. You guys are awesome. This looks really great. Fantastic. But I'm still not giving you my stools. I love you. reason I did this is because Jimmy's World is doing a live show. We're going to call it Clear Prop and I'm going to do a news of the day aviation type thing uh, and then we're going to have live call-ins so you can call in and we'll answer your question live. That'll be interesting to see how this goes. That'll be a lot of fun. Be like, hey, you're on Clear Prop with Jimmy. What's your question? And then you'll be like, hey, why is the sky blue? And I'll be like, I don't know. It's probably something to do with the refraction of the light through the atmosphere or some crazy weird thing like that. Who knows? It'd be a fun answer. Oh, I'm so happy to have a project done finally. Man. I mean, we got Mighty Mouse. That thing's not going anywhere for a while. I think I'm just going to take a break for that one.
for a minute, let it sit so I can ponder and recover mentally and emotionally from it. Then we got Pablo. We haven't even started putting him back together yet. Then we got Private Pile out the garage. We still need a mount of 50 cal too, which that's gonna be stinking awesome. And put a light bar and some other stuff on. And then there is Guido, the uh, Sierra. We got a brand new engine, overheating problems. We've changed and checked everything. Even the guys at Lycoming, the engine manufacturer, are a little stumped at this point. We're starting to just change parts now because they don't have any idea, we don't have any idea. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we got a part coming in tomorrow that may be our golden ticket on out of here. But no more, no more projects, Jimmy. No more projects, self-control, self-control. <sighs> I shouldn't have looked at Craigslist. No, yes, no, maybe. No, you know, I'm just gonna call. It's probably not gonna be anything, but I'm gonna call anyway. Just just to say, yeah, hi. Yeah, I, I, uh, you got that on uh, Craigslist there? Yep. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'll come take a look at it. Okay. All right, thanks, man. I'll see you soon. Yeah, bye. Just no projects. Just going to look. You never know. <laughs>